Hey, this video is on long multiplication, which some of you have been finding tricky, so we just need a bit of practice on. Um, the most important thing with long division, so the first line you're going to do is you're going to multiply all of these numbers by the 5. The second thing you're going to do is multiply all the numbers by a 2. So this 2 isn't just worth 2, it's worth 20. So I have to put in a placeholder down here. And that's the bit people always forget. So it's really, really important. So you put in your placeholder. So the first thing I'm going to do is multiply everything by this 5. So 5 times 7 is 35. So you put your 5 here. And a little small 3 underneath. Okay, so 5 times 7 is 35. Then you need to do 5 times by 5, which is 25. Well, I've got this 3 down here, so I need to do 25 add 3, so that's going to be 28. My little 2 goes down here. It's really important with anything you're doing in a column method to keep your columns separate. Okay, The place value is very important. This 2 isn't actually worth 2, it's worth 200. My next row is 5 times by 2. So 5 times by 2 is 10. And then I add my 2 from down here, so I get 12. So I put my 2 there and my 1 underneath. <clears throat> then I need to do 5 times by 9, which is 45. I've got one more down here, so it's 46. So my 6 goes here. My 4 goes up there because I've finished. Okay, now as I've said, um, the next row is actually worth 20, not 2, but because I've put the placeholder down here, everything's going to be multiplied by 10. So I can just multiply everything by 2, which is far easier. Before I do that, I'm just going to cross these numbers out, so we don't want to get confused when we're doing our second row. Okay, I'll do this in another colour, just so you can see. Um, so now I need to do 2 times by 7, which is 14. I need to do 2 times by 5, which is 10, add my 1 is 11. Then 2 times by 2, which is 4, add 1, which is 5. And I've got 2 times by 9, which is 18. So my 8 goes there. My 1 will make another column. Okay, I'm just going to scroll down. Okay, so we haven't finished there. Um, we've worked out what 5 times 9,257 is, and we've worked out what 20 times 9,257 is. We need to add them together. So I'm going to add them here. So I've got 5 add 0 is 5. I've got 8 add 4, which is 12. So if my 2 goes there, that's a much draw a small line. Okay, that's easier. So 8 out of 4 was 12, so I've got my 2 there, I'm just going to put a 1 underneath. 2 add 1 is 3, add my 1 is 4. 6 add 5 is 11, so my 1 goes there, 1 underneath. 4 add 8 is 12, add my 1 is 13. And then you've got nothing there, so nothing add 1 is 1. Add your 1 is 2. So 9,257 times 25 is 231,425.